What's up guys? This is the Raven and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. I completely lost my thread. Um, so, in the last episode we captured the um, Turkish capital of Istanbul and then we have now turned our sights on to the British garrison here at Tripoli. And it would be my objective after this to try and make peace with Britain because, as it is, um, they own a couple of regions over here and I don't really care about it. So I'd rather make peace and try and trade with them as they're tucked away in such a such an area I'm not actually that bothered about it. Um, but without further ado, sorry, don't don't worry, I am going to fight this. We are going to take them on. So they've got some one unit of mortars, some reinforcing artillery. Um, but apart from that, we shouldn't really have any trouble. I'm probably going to deploy my cavalry to try and intercept this crew, which will be off to my left. So let's take them on. Shouldn't be too difficult. It is an improved settlement fortifications like the last episode. Which so we probably want to drop all three of our guns in the middle so we can target two different areas for breaches. Let's check out this unit. Yeah, I don't know how that's happened. That's a normal artillery unit. And for whatever reason, that's what this one's become. Hmm. Colour me confused. Um, I think in this time I'm probably going to try and do two more limited pincers around the flanks and then I'm gonna have three units in the center to act as a bit of a a gap filler just to make sure we don't get screwed over and like I said well let's leave one unit of cavalry behind just in case I've predicted this wrong you guys can follow quick fire quick line you guys both shoot at something at least here come the how it is Good stuff. So we want to focus on hitting the units, currently garrisoning the walls. Uh, how far does round shot get us? It does get us into the centre. No. Quick climb the walls. Start to knock out their uh, forces. This inc wait a minute, how are you so elite as well? Significantly more firepower, significantly more accuracy, reloading skill and morale. Don't quite know how you're that good, buster. No, just one second everyone. And I'm back. Um, actually, you're a pretty, pretty good target right here. Well, everyone's fired already. There we go. Yeah, not as many died in that as you would think. Ah, well, there's a few more. So let's speed up time, because right now it's just... Uh, Artillery slugging it out. Got this massive battery making a wall, a hole in the wall over here. But I do want to hit these guys. But right now, I'm quite happy with what's going on. Um, whole bucket load of quick lime. Oh, that would have been a good hit. But yeah, ideally I would have targeted this section of the breach. Uh, you actually change your target to that unit. Rather than these two small units. 77%, so it should not be that long. Actually, you might be best targeting that unit of clonal line that's not actually been damaged at all. One more volley is all that's needed. There we go. And let's hit this section of the wall instead. So then we've got nice. 
a nice wide variety of ways to enter the fort. As the quick just decimates that unit of militia. But I think they're probably still going to... Uh, bad things are going to happen to these fellas. Because, yep, yeah, Quicklime's just doing... Doing so much work for us. Okay. Probably get my guns now to start focusing more on trying to do counter battery work. Or at least counter battery work in a sense. As the shells slam into the walls here. Do you need to keep an eye on where their reinforcements will come in. Not because they're particularly dangerous, but you know, may as well keep an eye on them. Okay, I'm going to send three guys up to the breach because they're starting to drop mortars on us. And these two units of marines can take position up on the walls. I suspect our counter battery is going to be a bit of a bust. But you fellas aren't long for uh, aren't long for storming in. So these guys are the uh, these guys are the pincushion. But hopefully, I just want to uh, mow down a bunch of the thirty seventh that are in a bit of a funky formation outside of the city. Hopefully these three can do a lot of damage to them quickly so they can move into the breach. Stay back. Come on, artillery. Yeah, they stopped for some reason. There we go. Get some of these guys up on the wall um, lest they take too much damage from the too much damage from the mortars storm some of my infantry in while the others form up actually one of you screaming out to quick climb that guy Begin. Keep attacking the 3rd Regiment of Dragoons. Okay, let's not attack the Dragoons. Okay, I was wondering if the Dragoons would actually cause a... Uh, promote an uprising rather than stop it. Well, I was hoping that the... Uh, I was hoping that I could drop... Drop the attack order and see if they'd stop. I just they have actually stopped. Oh no, one unit's in there. Not going to help them though, because cover is useless in the breach. Especially when my marines get up on the wall. So the 15th are in there first. They get the 37th. My men are swarming up the wall up here. Uh, 
some of you off the walls quickly. When we long to the wall is taken. Damn! More quick light coming in. Yeah, no, stop. Round shot into the centre. Kill the 23rd, the last man of the 23rd. We can finally see where their men are coming in to reinforce them. Quick, capture the gate. I always never, I never really know what the. Uh... There we go, good. Because sometimes the game can be really woolly about what constitutes uh, capture. Storm in. So what I want for these guys is to take position on the walls and prepare to uh, give fire. Because right now I'm content just to feed one man in at a time. Recovery, recovery, recovery. You're over here. See? Look at these lovely gun crews. They do have heavy cavalry coming in, but I'm not bothered about them. Let's bring my general down over here to help support the morale of these men. Then when these guys take up firing positions... Man, those cavalry are going to eat it. So it's always a bit of a gamble whether or not you should put infantry. Well, should you put infantry down there or marines down Marines down there or infantry up here? Um, but I never think it's... To be honest, late game infantry is sufficiently good that it's never really a massive problem. I think marines are better, unquestionably. Quite a lot better. But I suppose in the breach, all these guys have to be is good enough realistically. They don't have to be better, they just have to be good enough. So the next guy's coming in. Yeah, it's this unit of native infantry who aren't actually actually on the map yet, but we are still just chewing them up. So I'm happy about that. Okay. You men have provided enough fire support. So let's send the first down in to help attack the breach. Yeah, these cavalry are going to do some good, but the trouble is there's just not enough of them. To realistically do what needs to be done. Yeah, so you guys hit the 12th. So right now these guys in the breach, they just have to kind of survive till my flanking elements get, get into position. And in that case, I actually rather like having more elite flanking elements because it feels like you're even more guaranteed to do well, right? Okay, my artillery, just stop. Stop doing what you're doing. Yes, do you see the problem of what's going on? Well, what you should really do is do stuff like this. Just take half some units and don't actually make them engage. Just charge through the combat. Especially when it's small like this. Because they can just run straight through. And not get tied up in it. And the general's getting involved. Hey, 
hey, they march through and my guys aren't attacking them anymore. They're actually getting shot to bits. Although, that's not going to last for long. There we go. They've just run straight through, so then you can just send them on to swarm and attack the guns. Ooh, straight down the barrel of them as well. The unit of the 20th is still in position, but... Their gunners are about to get a triangular metal surprise. Especially as lots of these units are actually fairly elite. They've all got, like... Have I got a level 2 unit? Yeah, I've got two, three level 2 units, although they're quite badly battered now, my weakest units. These gunners shouldn't last for long. Oh, that gun did kill a marine. Especially when everyone's just watching him. Yeah, the gunners have all died. There we go. Enemy resistance has crumbled. So the last people remaining are... Oh, there we go. Good stuff. So let's see if we can make peace with Great Britain. Although I am going to take you guys and go... Exempt Exempt from tax. Can't rebuild anything. Uh, do you guys... I don't actually have any towns. So we've got John Churchill himself down here. And a small force. But what I'm tempted to do is go... Okay, just knocked out. Oh, okay. Good. We are at peace. I think I've recruited another rake. What's the same rake? Let's get him on ship. Aboard ship. Get him... Get our agent deployed to Prague. So I do know I've got the, this army sat here, but he is very much a defensive army. Well, defensive for now. But I can't really do anything else. I, so I want to take this opportunity of peace, really, to build up my uh, build up my navy. I think that's what I'd like to do. Five turns to Misrata. Rich and rest will go down to four, which is good. Realistically, I think I should probably turn Kasserine into a happiness build, into a uh, into a uh, religious building, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm probably going to wait till Kasserine's developed in Tripoli and then build one there. One more turn to Rights of Man. So right now, the only people we're actually at war with... We're not actually at war with that many people now. Major... Because we are still minor... Pirates in Russia. We've actually made peace with a lot of our forward and former enemies. Can you leave Antigua yet? Nope, because they really hate us. Pronti. We'd like to go hit San Jose. Um, but right now I'm content to hit N10. Let's see what the future holds. We will likely be at war with either the Ottomans or with Sweden in not very many turns because I have just taken the Ottomans' capital and they've got a bunch of troops in the Balkans. Although right now they are actually fairly isolated. At least we've got their priest converting... Uh, Converting Istanbul. That's them. That was the important thing. Let's 
That's a lot of men. It's a lot of troops. This is why I think I'd be pretty... Well, I need to expand my naval dominance. Really? Okay. Those guys need a killing. Those guys need a killing. Let's see if we can... Our sloop can kill any of these privateers. Took out one of them. No, no, they captured our sloop. No, oh, they just came out to do that. Good. New Spain's going to clean out the pirates. Yeah, don't want to fight the Mughals. There's no point fighting the Mughals. Not for me. Well, there is. Well, one point, I suppose, is to conquer all of uh, the Americas, but that's not going to happen. Okay, you now go on to... You don't do abolition of slavery, you instead... We may as well do it, crank a turn out before I switch. Because I want Bologna to do that, because you'll get done quicker. Fleet destroyed. Well, that's a very grandiose term for a fleet, I suppose. Good. Istanbul is happy. You guys can build a church school. Uh, we can rebuild the parliament chamber. You guys can be fully replenished. It's in three turns. There's not a lot else we can really do. Especially as our priest. Well, it would be beneficial for us to have... Okay, you're now plus 11, so I feel happy knocking down your theatre and replacing it with a religious building so I can push a priest onto Tripoli, build one here in Misrata, then push that on to Cairo, because I don't think they've got a religious building. And they have no agents, so we will be able to convert them fairly sim fairly well. It's about to say easily. That's not the word I'm after. Well. Okay, I can build two more ships. Two second rates, and then that'll be that fleet rebuilt. You wanted to be a uh, palatial estate, didn't you? Let's get an army board. No, no, there we go. That's what we want. Royal Academy. To really crank up the uh, happiness and the wealth per turn. Um, although wealth isn't a massive problem at the moment. 24,000. Still the Russians that are the problem. Could land an army around here at Archangel and try and open up another front. But really, I think I want to be a bit more uh, concise. So yeah, you... So there's no point in infiltrating Amsterdam because the region is so small, I can just see it with my eyes. I have another popper trying to kill that Russian... Russian dude. Nope. Okay. Get up here to Munich and see what's going on. Because these guys could potentially just storm south. But I want you guys to push on against the Ottomans. That's what I'd like. Okay, let's check. So no, trouble is sometimes this doesn't necessarily indicate they're open. It just means that they are. They might have a their home region might be under blockade. But really, I need to build up my own naval strength because I don't really have the the navy to go off um, and doing stuff out there. Let's hit end turn. Let's crank another end turn. Get some more cash, build up some more religious buildings. Probably build up a garrison in the Leeward Islands so I can go and attack the pirates. So then they, they at least harry my men uh, pace. But I do really need to spread Christianity across the North African theatre. Because right now I have not yet done so. Not as effectively as I would like to. Yeah, they're definitely going to declare on us at some point because we do have, we just, we have their capital. So they're not going to let that go. Yeah, they're moving men up to the front. Because I would like to push on Cairo. 
in due course. But the key thing now is to not overextend too much. Because you all know what happens in these games. Something bad happens and it you when something when it blows up, it blows up everywhere. Oh no, not my little ship on its own. Fifth rate. Yeah, see if you can do any damage. Oh, they took two. Still not dead. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, oh, I thought Lower Louisiana was a rebel region. No, nope, it's Mughal. Damn. Okay, let's take you, get you back to Cuba. Upgrade the craft workshop because it's cheap. Got some very expensive port upgrades now, though. probably better off building some of those port upgrades in Europe. Um, but first, church school. Upgrade you. Okay, now they're happy. Well, sort of happy. No, not a global trading, trading company. Not for this region. That's way too, way too not very efficient. We want global trading companies in our more Prosperous regions, because they provide even more income. So lots of these French regions are still saying they're poor, which is confusing. Oh, steam-powered cloth mills. Do you love a steam-powered cloth mill? Let's repair that trading port. Naples is a steam-powered cloth mill. Naples is a industrial centre of great renown. Yeah, Tripoli... Oh, they, they, they smashed up the parliament chamber and now they're fine with us. Right, that makes sense. Okay, Bologna. No, Verona instead. Get on to preserved foods. Bologna, get on to... Ooh. Get on to abolition of slavery. Verona, can you instead do... No, mass production, too slow. Um... Carinades, maybe, to open up some of the latter naval techs. Oh no, I suppose preserved foods is generally quite a good one to get. Platoon firing is good for the management of the army administration, so it reduces your um, upkeep. And plus one for training is also good. And army staff college is good because it opens up some new options like sharpshooters, mountain troops, household cavalry. Cool. Um, but really, I should pour any surplus cash I have into building up ships. So I'm going to build a third rate. Then when these two ships are done, they can redeploy over to probably over towards Greece. Do you have a militia unit? You do. Good. So I'm going to use this as a, as a base. Actually, maybe Heracleon. Base a fleet here in the Eastern Med. Can I tax you now? I can, and you don't like it that much, but... One more turn till Kozani is built. Um, I could probably stand to push these guys up a bit further to the border. As long as I expand... Guards. As long as I expand this army to prepare to defend along the western edge. Or at least have them here ready to push out and attack. Port blockaded again by Las Piratas. Spend any extra money doing replenishment. Pronti, Minus 11. Let's hit end turn. Because realistically I don't think we're going to get that much of a break in the Americas until uh, we get abolition of slavery. To help drive up uh, lower class happiness. And it also drives that's important to know. But we are an absolute monarchy, and so they love us anyway. So in that case, screw them. I was going to use a much more offensive tone, but I don't want to cause my channel any problems. These guys are going to sail off and do some trading shenanigans, which I'm fine with, as long as they stay away from the Mediterranean. Hmm. 
It is interesting having this visibility of what's going on inside the Ottomans, and I'm glad to know lots of their roads are actually still dirt roads. So they're not earning crazy amounts of money. I mean, they'll, have, they'll still be earning a good amount of money to keep all their... To be honest, I'm looking pretty good in that regard. I mean, sweet... But, to be honest, I am liking... Point. I'm going to be at war with everyone. Which is becoming less of a problem now. Especially once I get some more repairs done in the Istanbul region. And then we will start to take advantage of their income. But yes, we do want to keep growing and we will have the occasional curveball from the AI. So that's why I'm happy to have an army just sat doing nothing in London um, because it prevents it prevents, well it doesn't prevent us from being surprised, it gives us a contingency option in case we are surprised. Yeah, pot of pay. Church school in Romalia, immediately upgraded to a Jesuit college. In which case, then, you don't need to be here. Ankara probably has a madrasa. Modern university, cloth mills. How unhappy are you as a population? Fairly. Well, I'll say fairly. You're only, po you're only positive four. Steampower Factory, Iron Master's Forge. I don't see any actual religious buildings here, so if I drop you over here, we slowly start to convert. Oh no, we don't. No, we, we still... Oh, but they are having to uh, not tax them in order to get that clamber for reform and also garrison them heavily. Okay, in which case I'm going to get you back in here and then get you over to Bulgaria. We may as well go for the easier fruit when it comes to conversions like that. Let's upgrade the engineer school here. Okay, Nino D'Agostino. Let's get your fleet over here to Heracleon. Let's upgrade that place of state. So recruiting a third rate. Let's get Admiral's flagship first. One heavy. For, uh, maybe not quite that many ships because we are spending all of our money. Probably want to upgrade another Paris building. Or actually do what you're going to do and repair buildings in Turkey. Good. So these armies are all replenished. So you can actually march up to a more critical area. You probably don't want to go too far away from the city. Because they can turn on us fairly quickly. Um, but we should grow our religious population. Should start to get religious happiness. And we've also got to repair some of these buildings. I can repair the farm. Trade we raided by the Russians. Yeah, that's fair enough. Workers on strike in central. Yeah. Bad, 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 bad. You guys, strike breakers. We're well, not really strike breakers, but... There we go. Keep them under control. And let's pick up some... Oh, let's pick up some Swiss Mountain Jaeger. We're not going to be too much longer, really, before we don't need... We don't need, um... Universities in general. I mean, it's not going to be quick, but... Yeah. Okay, good. Good. Everything's okay. All our priests are doing successful missions. Paris's income is growing. We're now up to 26,000 a turn. That's a lot of Swedish troops. This is why I'm kind of holding all these tactical regions. You're a pretty bad army to garrison a fort, aren't you? Okay. Yes. Take these two guns out here. You guys do not need heavy horse guard artillery. Not to garrison a fort, you don't. Howitzers will do the job. That's probably... Well, that is too much cavalry for them. But that's not the end of the world. You could do with... Oh, okay, right. So what needs to happen is... 
You guys probably want them. And probably want one of these units of cavalry. Okay, we can do some swapping around. But not for now, we don't have any money. Uh, keep converting London. Although, do you have a seminary? You do. Let's get this agent over to, over to the port. Flanders is Catholic. Lots of Central Europe is Catholic, but I'm going to sit here and do it because it will wind up the Spanish Ooh, regions like that are particularly good to do that in. High value. Large population that I can actually grow religious unrest in and try and cause more trouble. Rather than here, because right now there's so many troops nearby. If I do it in Amsterdam, I might be able to draw some armies backwards to garrison the town. That's my thinking. Um, sweet. But yeah, that's... That's generally what's going on at the moment. Nothing critical, but right now I'm pretty happy with that because our army's... <laughs> well, this campaign can be a bit funny at times. Um, obviously, obviously now you're unhappy. Sorry, palatial estate. Oh, okay. Let's knock down another palatial estate. Repair the parliament chamber. Um, oh, and also you guys... Oh, when that's done... This priest can... Well, actually, you can just start to march on already. You still convert, even though you're not in the town. I do it in... I leave my agents in the town because it's easy to manage like that. Um, but they don't have to be here because this school will be built this turn. So then these guys will be ready to go and just start to convert to Tripoli. And then push on and start to convert to Cairo. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. And I think things are going quite well now. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.